Life Below Zero. Here's how Sue Aiken survived a bear attack. Life Below Zero fans know that Sue Aikens is one of the cast members of the show. However, some of the fans may not know that she is a survivor of a fatal bear attack. Sue managed to overcome the brutal attack that happened seven years ago. Now she continues to embrace the Arctic environment and always try to live positively. Life Below Zero, Sue's bear attack story. A couple of 10 years ago, Sue had been attacked by a grizzly bear. This happened when she was working at her Kavik refueling station located in an isolated area in Alaska. Ten days after the attack, Sue was finally found and rescued. According to the medical report, she had dislocated both her hips. Moreover, she was also found with bite marks in her skull. Sue was forced to give herself first aid and afterwards find the bear and put it down. Later on, she stayed in her cabin until help finally arrived. Life Below Zero, How Did Sue Survive the Bear Attack? Back then, Sue was getting water from the Kavik River before it all froze. After she put down the rifle to fetch water, the grizzly bear appeared only to start dragging her. Sue told Yahoo News that she felt the bear's teeth sink into her skull. In fact, it's surprising how she survived the fatal ordeal. It's a good thing that her survival skills kicked in at the moment and decided to play dead. Sue ended up disclosing that she knew something like that would eventually happen to her. After all, she lived by herself in the wilderness of Alaska. After being attacked, Sue knew to sue up her injuries in order to prevent any infections. After 10 long days, she was found and given a first aid before being airlifted to the hospital. Life Below Zero, where is Sue now? The fatal attack did not stop Sue Ekins from doing what she loves most. In fact, she still happens to be the owner of Kavik River Camp. Moreover, Sue still lives alone as well. Good thing she has two children, three grandchildren, and her Malamud dogs for support. Sue Ekins told the Mirror that if someone wanted to live her lifestyle, they would have to be comfortable with their own death. She then added that she didn't mean that she ran out looking for it every morning. She finished her advice by saying that you should always tell the people you love that you love them. Sue currently makes about $200,000 from Life Below Zero every year. Besides being a documentary, she's also an executive producer in a certain movie project. 